Hey guys, so today I have an H&M haul for you. Uh, for me, H&M is sometimes, a, mostly a lot of misses actually, but when I find something I like, I really like it. Uh, in this haul, I don't think I found that many golden pieces, I would say. So I hope you enjoyed anyway, it'll help you um, kind of filter out a lot of things that H&M has. And you might see I look a little different. I have new hair color. It's the ash brown now instead of my chestnut brown. Love it. So don't forget to subscribe and I hope you enjoy it. It's this oversized t-shirt that is for $9.99 and I got the extra extra small because I knew it was going to be oversized. And it's nice because it's like that almost to the elbow length and it's really comfortable, very large. It's kind of like a very cheapish kind of cotton but I think it'll be very lived in after a few washes and it looks really good when you tuck it into some high-waisted pants or shorts. Look at a couple dresses that I got and this one so I thought it was all daisy looking but it looks like sunny side eggs. You see that? <laughs> so this was actually a pass for me, not just the pattern. It's just all the ruffles and everything. I think I was swimming quite a bit in it. And the sleeves are actually quite large, even though they're supposed to be kind of, well, they're puffy, but I thought they'd be more fluttery, but they're not. Um, and the cross right here, the wrap, there's no clip. So you're all exposed. So I guess it'd be good for those that are still breastfeeding. Um, but that's not me, not me. <laughs> so this would be good for those mamas out there, but not for me. I have these twill paper bag sh pants. So I have a lot of these in the shorts, so I thought I wanna try some more pants. And this actually hit me almost a little bit too long at 5'2". And I got a size six. Uh, so H&M does carry some styles in petite, but this one is not. And I wish it was a little bit shorter. And with a size six, I'm usually a four or six, and the waist was too tight for me, unfortunately. But the rest of the legs was also too baggy. So even if I size up or down or whatever, it would not work either way. Right, I got this basic pink sweater it's not the pink that i would like and it has this ribbing on the arms i actually don't really like because it accentuates how large my arms are and it was actually pretty tight at a size extra small and there's also ribbing at the bottom i, I normally just tuck in my shirts anyways but sometimes i find this kind of annoying i rather just have a raw edge but this refilled for $12.99. I'm gonna pass on it. I don't know how this little thing is $17.99. There's like barely any material. I know, I bought it, but it, so you, this is kind of out of my comfort zone, but I just see it's, it's like trending right now with all the smock tops. Uh, it looks really good if you're smaller chested and yeah, who doesn't want that? But the shoulders and everything, it doesn't fit. I need broader shoulders for it. And it just shows way too much skin for me. So I don't think I'll feel comfortable wearing it. it does make the boobs look good though. The girls are happy. They called this the flounce trim dress. This one was a little bit pricey on the side. It was $39.99. And I think the quality isn't there for how much I paid for it. Uh, the front is see-through. I was wearing a nude bra and you could still see through it. It is lined though and it's a linen material. That's probably why it's see-throughable. But it, the silhouette and everything is really cute. It's really feminine. It's like I'm going to a picnic. But I don't think I'll keep it. Just because the, the waist, it's stretchy but not that stretchy. Had a little trouble going above the tush. Got this jersey dress, and I think it's the perfect length for me, being um, pretty much a maxi. And it's super basic. It looks just like a basic t-shirt on top. But to my surprise, I guess I didn't know what I was buying. 
um, there there's a slip under a slit 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 and you could see your beautiful legs if you wanted to so I don't think it's appropriate for work in case you know my leg just slips through uh, so not for that but if you're feeling lazy or you're pregnant this might be a pretty good option I love me some wide leg pants that are comfortable and these I think are a winner they are wide leg and they're comfortable because you see there's a band in the back nice and stretchy it is a size 6 for me for me and it's $34.99 it's really comfortable you can totally dress it up for work if you wear like a button down or something like that this is really comfortable I really like this boat neck top it's very airy it's like a great material it's like crepe but also jersey it has like this puff sleeve a little bit not too much and it's very comfortable to wear something obviously I'll, I'll be able to wear to work I'll tuck it into some pants and it has a pretty basic bottom you can wear it with maybe paper bag pants or you can also tuck into some shorts I think this is a pretty versatile piece and it's basic white I always love all my white tops I gotta say, the style, the silhouette on this silhouette uh, on these paper bag pants are, I love it. It's great. Um, the material is very soft and wrinkly. Unfortunately, you'll have to, you know, either steam it or take it out of the wash pretty quickly. Uh, for me though, size 6 petite, this actually came in a petite. The length was perfect for me being 5'2", but I think it was a little bit tight in the waist the waist is stretchy but it's not that stretchy and if I think I ate a little bit more food today it would not be comfortable and I'm all about comfort and this is something that I would probably try wear to work uh, one more uncomfortable thing is somewhere between the crotch and maybe mm, to the knee there's this itchy spot like even on the pink one I have a pink one too and they're both a little bit itchy there uh, you could wear some longer spandex and that can help with it if you really like the style I really like the style so I'm gonna have to decide I really like the pink one I don't have anything like it yet and but I think I would size up to an 8 and see how that works uh, just so I can be more comfortable on the top and I feel like the legs shouldn't change that much here I got another top that I couldn't fit so I was really worried that I wasn't able to to take this off later uh, the torso area there's no give at all it's really tight I got the size extra extra small um, just because I thought the shoulders would have been too big for me and they are still too big for me and the sleeve is okay it's a puff sleeve and then it'll clamp onto your arm here um, it's very vintagey it has like that kind of yellow old couch kind of color you know you probably had that couch uh, but it, it could have been cute if only it fit a little bit better it was way too big on the shoulders for sure this is the white striped jersey jacket so I have a lot of these jackets um, in other colors but I think their style has changed from year to year I have one that's my favorite and it's like um I think a pink or something but now it seems like the the sleeves are way too long way too long so if you're a little bit taller with longer arms this could this could be actually pretty nice you'll look really put together it has um the the whole top to bottom pocket so it's great for work if you have a bunch of pens or notes or things like that you can stuff it in and it instantly puts your outfit together with just a light jacket so and it has a nice collar as well like a shawl collar so this is my favorite, it's almost my only winner, <laughs> is these Snoopy pajamas. So they're so comfy and they're very lightweight so it's good for summer. And the only thing Snoopy about it is this part and then otherwise it's all stars all over it. And the shorts pit fit perfect as well and I got a size small. This is for $24.99 and like if I compare it to my other favorite pajamas from Target these are not as soft but 
the material is a lot lighter and it's very comfortable. So don't you think so? It's still be a dog. Why my pet hate it? Let me know. I don't know if it's be a dog. Oh, you don't look happy. I did get a couple home items. I couldn't really help it. They do have some pretty trendy looking pieces that are a little bit more affordable. So the first thing I got was this catch-all gold tray. And I think it's a pretty good quality. It's, I'm probably going to plop maybe my keys or something like that on this. And it's a good size. Like this. The other thing that I got from H&M Hall was very impulsive. It's very cute. It is a dinosaur basket. How cute is this? So the inspiration is probably from Target where they had those um, elephants and llama ones. But this is a dinosaur. How cute is it? It's very small. I don't know what I'm going to put in it. Maybe some skincare bottles or something. It's very lightweight. It's probably not up to par quality as it is from Target. But it's cute. It's cute. I have no other words to use. Do I? Nope. It's cute. I hope you enjoyed my haul there. Um, yeah, you can see there were probably a lot of misses. So I hope you enjoyed it anyway and that you'll like and subscribe the video. And I'll see you next time. I think I'll have a review of Teeks versus Rothy's next. So subscribe so you know when that comes up. Alright, see ya!